החסידים לא מבזבזים זמן. מה שעות מאוחר יותר, הם נודדים לכפר ערבי אבו גוש. הפעם בביתו של ראש המועצה. וגורם עד אחרי ששוברים כאן את צום הרמדאן. ראש המועצה, סלים ג'אבר, הוא הראשון שחותם על הצהרה, שקוראת לכל בני נוח לקיים את שבע המצוות. ואני תולה אותם בסלון שלי. אני מתפלל לאללה, לא אלוהים, לא אלוקים, שאיבד יביא עלינו שלום, עלינו ועל כל העולם. אני אהיה בסדר, תהיה אתה בסדר, כולם יהיו בסדר, הכל יהיה בסדר. נכון? חסידי הרבי מבביץ' מרוצים, המבצע נוכל הצלחה. סיירת נועה עוברת ליעד הבא. Noahide law is a fundamental teaching of Orthodox Judaism. Yet the Noahide law stands apart. It is not a religion, nor the basis of religion. It is a legal and moral code. Some believe, since they are not listed in the Torah, the seven laws are an invention of the Tanaim, the rabbis who are quoted in the Mishnah or Talmud. The principles of moral and ethical conduct that have formed the basis for all civilizations come to us in part from the centuries-old seven Noahide laws. These seven laws, according to the Talmud, are for all the children of Noah and are the only standard of righteousness for Gentiles across the world. According to Jewish tradition, Non-Jews who adhere to these laws are said to be followers of Noahidism and regarded as righteous Gentiles who are assured a place in Olam Haba, or the world to come. These laws include the following, not to worship idols, not to curse God or blaspheme His name, to establish courts of justice, not to commit murder, not to commit adultery or sexual immorality, not to steal, and not to eat flesh torn from a living animal. According to the Sanhedrin document 57a, a heathen is executed for the violation of four precepts, and these include blasphemy, adultery, idolatry, and bloodshed. And this being the case, many have already begun to see the dangers of allowing these supposed religious authorities to determine what constitutes violation of blasphemy and idolatry, since these same authorities believe that the Gentiles, or heathen, must not use the name of Yahuwah, nor can they use an intermediary to approach the Father. Well, the United States of America, at least as of 1991, officially and legally said that we need to keep these seven God-given Noahide laws. The joint resolution of the United States Congress called its principles the bedrock of society from the dawn of civilization, without which the edifice of civilization stands in serious peril of returning to chaos. My husband was in Congress from 1979 to 1992. On the day that this bill was signed, he was actually on the House floor, and all the congressmen were told that that would be the last vote of the day before the Noahide laws ever came up. They were told all of the votes are over and you can go home. And so everybody did. He had no idea that this law was passed and they passed it by, guess what? Unanimous consent. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea. A new world order. The truth is, the United States was founded upon the Ten Commandments, not the seven Noahide laws. And you can see the Ten Commandments on top of the U.S. Supreme Court building, not Noahide laws. There's no Noahide laws. Okay, that's the Ten Commandments. The background of these seven laws of Noah derive from the Talmud. The Talmud is a Jewish, or as I call it, a Pharisee construction brought back from Babylon. 
It is not biblical. Yet the imposter Jews tend to give it and the Mishnah a collection of Jewish traditions way more significance than that written by Moses. It's like the evil Jewish Pharisees back in the time when they crucified Jesus on the cross. These are those that claim to be Jews but are not. God literally calls them out in the Bible for what they are. In 2007, you have this document from the Vatican, Commission for Religious Relations with the Jews. They state that Jewish tradition emphasizes the Noahide Covenant as containing the universal moral code which is incumbent on all humanity. The Jews are under one set of commandments in the Torah. Uh, well, they describe it as 613 commandments, a number that's completely made up that's not in the Torah anywhere. They say the Jews have 613 commandments and the Gentiles only have seven commandments. Where can these seven commandments be found? <laughs> of course, they're not in the Torah. They're in the Talmud and in the Midrash. They're in the oral mm -hmm. law. And why don't they know about these seven laws anywhere in the world except for in the Talmud and the Midrash? Why don't the Gentiles know these laws if they're all if they were given to Noah? Noah has descendants. Those descendants remember about the flood all over the world. You have flood stories in 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 the among the Maya, among you know you name it all over the world, but they don't know about the seven Noahide laws. That only comes from the oral law. And the way I read the Torah is there's one Torah for the native born and the sojourner. That that that's the whole point. That's what yeah, Isaiah. That's, right. that's what that's Isaiah right. 56 is about. You can go in and you can say, let's look in scripture and you can look in the Tanakh, you can look in the Torah, you can look in your 66 book Bible, I don't care which edition you have, but look and you see if you can see anywhere where the Heavenly Father, where the Creator gave those laws to Noah. You're not going to find them. You won't find them anywhere. Herman Van Rumpy, President of the European Union wrote in July 2014 that he seeks greater dissemination of the universal values known as Freemasonry. And Major General Michael Jeffrey, Governor General of Australia, lamenting family breakdowns and drug and alcohol abuse in modern society in 2008 letter wrote that he believed that observing the fundamental values of the Noahide laws can be an antidote to such ills of society. Oh, we yeah. did find no hide laws. Yes, we did. Where are they? They're found in Jubilees, chapter 7, verse 20. And are they the seven Noahide laws that were told are the Noahide laws by the rabbis? Absolutely not. It says this, And in the 28th Jubilee, Noah began to enjoin upon his son's sons the ordinances and commandments and all the judgments that he knew, and he exhorted his sons to observe righteousness, and to cover the shame of their flesh, and to bless their Creator, and honor father and mother, and love their neighbor, and guard their souls from fornication, and uncleanness, and all iniquity. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. And in the times when the Jewish people have the Sanhedrin, the, the, the proper court, not like today, in the land of Israel, and they're able to take to control and there's you know capital um, punishment and so forth so then if a non-jew wants to live in the land of israel we can actually force them to accept these seven laws and so on and so forth so the the job and the message of the jew to the non-jew is to accept the seven noahide commandments nowadays where that's not possible to force them so it tells us the rabbi melech Mashiach that we, the Jewish people, need to then explain, educate, and convince them. According to the rabbis, the way to commit blasphemy under the Noahide laws is to declare Yeshua, Jesus, equal to God, or pronounce the name Yahuwah or Yahweh. The resulting punishment, beheading. 
unlike the Torah teaching found in Deuteronomy 17.6 that requires the testimony of two or three witnesses before one can be executed, according to the Noahide law, it only takes one witness. Breaking one of these laws is subject to capital punishment by decapitation. Beheadings. There will be beheadings. and. Everybody thought before, oh, it's by Sharia law, it's Muslims are going to do it, remember? Yeah. It's all Muslims are doing this. But no, it seems like, you know, of course there is a radical part of, of, of uh, Islamic faith, but it seems like Muslims have become the scapegoat. HB 1274 authorizes the state of Georgia to execute citizens by guillotine. Georgia House of Representatives 1995-1996 Uh, reading this book here by Albert Mackey, The Symbolism of Freemasonry, written by a 33rd degree Freemason. Chapter 2, The Noachide. These are the doctrines which still constitute the creed of Freemasonry, and hence one of the names bestowed upon the Freemasons from the earliest times was that of Noachide, or Noachites, that is to say the descendants of Noah and the transmitters of his religious dogmas. It doesn't say it came from Noah. It says the descendants of Noah. Let's see who those were. All right, so here's Noah's family tree, right? We got Noah up here on the upper left. Ham had a son, Cush. Cush had a son, Nimrod. Nimrod built the Tower of Babel. And they said to one another, Go, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. They had brick for stone and slime they had for mortar. Sounds like masonry, doesn't it? What is a Noahite? Definition. A Freemason who has taken the 21st degree of the Scottish Rite. Two, Freemason. You will have the elite Talmudists who will live under the Torah and the Talmud and the lumpen proletariat who will be called Noahide who will be considered the servants of those Talmudists. There will be no other classes. Two classes, elite and the sub rosa.